Hi, I'm Mario and today I'm going to remove, I'm going to delete the rear view mirror for my Chevy Colorado. I have my reasons why I want to remove my rear view mirror and I'm not, by no stretch of the imagination, am I telling you what to do with your vehicle, with your truck, anything like that. I'm simply showing you what I've done to my truck and basically how I did it. So the tools you're going to need, essentially, you're going to need something to pry the plastic part. I mean, you could probably just use your fingers, but at any rate, I'm going to use this slotted screwdriver. And the other thing is some sort of Torx head driver. So I'm going to use this quarter inch ratchet. First thing I need to do is remove the cover plate. What we have here is a plastic shroud, and this is a little cover plate for it. Here you can see there's two tabs here. These are the clips for this little cover piece here, and one on each side. And then these tabs here, these here at the that I'm showing at the bottom of the screen, those insert into this cover here. And you can see the cover is rather narrow. That's what it mounts onto here. The mirror is still on it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just tilt the mirror down. So once I have it tilted down, it's out of the way. Then up at the top here, I'm putting my finger up here. I can feel there's a little slot right there. So I'm just going to put my screwdriver up in that little slot. And this is, I'm up against the, the plastic tab. And I'm just gonna basically just, I just put the screwdriver in there and just pulled that down. So now that I have that released, I'll just pull it towards me. And what happened here was the two tabs were here, inserted into the plastic piece, and then on each side, those were the clips. There's a clip here and a clip on the other side. So this was the top. Now that leaves us with this uh, plastic piece here, and this just basically, so this sits in there pretty good, and it might be loose on your truck, so you can just take it off and then put it back on inspect the little tabs I mean it you can see I'm moving it a little bit here but basically once I once I move that out towards me then I can just push downward and it just falls right out that's essentially the part that was snugging up against the mount and then these are the the part the clip this part here receives that clip that I was indicating for that little cover piece. There's one on each side, and then this would be the top. Here you can see that's where the Torx screw, normally I guess this would go into a button. I don't know if you can see that, let's see if it adjusts. And there's the Torx screw here. My truck is a Chevy Colorado, model year 2020, so a second generation Chevy Colorado. And this is a WT without any features associated with the mirror. So there's no power accessories going to the mirror. There's no um, automatic dimming feature for the mirror. No OnStar connection, nothing else um, here. So this might be a little bit different for your truck. Now we're moving towards the Torx. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give it a shot with my screw gun here. And then so now I'm just gonna tilt up the mirror as much as I can out of the way. Little Torx screw. Hopefully I'm at a right angle here. And I have a feeling this is going to fall, so I'm going to put the camera right down. So there's the screw. Normally a button would be glued to the windshield. That's the little Torx screw there. In this case, the button, it's essentially the size of, uh, the size of my hand. The whole, I'm going to tilt it a little bit. Anyway, that's the whole darn piece here. So substantial piece of hardware leads me to believe that your truck even if you have different features might be uh, just like mine because it looks like th this can accommodate other options the first time I did it to figure out where the latches were at and everything I ended up I just pulled it off fortunately I didn't break anything I kind of you know felt around and kind of just tugged on it but um but anyway that's how you do it and uh, hopefully this will allow me to do other projects. So if you're interested in stuff like this, you know, check out the channel. And, uh, you know, I got more going on with this truck as far as modifications that I'm trying to do. And, you know, take care. Talk to you guys later.